David, uh, a warm welcome to Bristol Rovers. How excited are you at joining the gas? Um, I'm absolutely over the moon, to be fair. Um, it came about about maybe a week ago or so, and as soon as I heard of the interest, I was, I was absolutely dying to uh, come here. So yeah, buzzing to get it done. That's a little bit about the timeline. I know a lot of fans would have seen you in action on, on Tuesday, down as a trialist in that picture against Cheltenham. Yeah, um, I got a call from the gaffer and um, he wanted me down and um, I've obviously heard a lot about him and I've heard he's a top coach so I obviously wanted to work with him um, and he told me to come down for a couple of days and see how it was, whether I enjoyed it, whether um, they wanted me so uh, it was a great opportunity for myself and I was glad to come down and uh, play against Cheltenham on Tuesday night Also on that, in that game you, you grabbed the goal didn't you? Well taken goal as well there Sam Nicholson played you the ball and you, you did the job just, uh, just in front of the keeper yeah, um, it was a great ball from Sam actually, he was uh, sort of urging me to get on and I mean that's how the gaffer likes to play, he likes his wing backs high up and I'm attacking the box so it was pleasing to get a goal. Have you set yourself any kind of targets or goals you want to achieve now during your time with the, the Blue and White Bristol Rovers? Yeah, of course, I think it's always important to have short term targets and long term targets even just in general life so um, I've always got my sort of aims, whether it's five goals, ten goals, and assists, um, it, uh, it varies on how much you play of course, but yeah, there's always targets there to be made so I can keep pushing myself and uh, yeah, work and just keep working harder. Obviously now the new season's seven, eight, seven, eight days away now, so you're joining at a time where everything's kind of gearing up for that first game against the situation, isn't it? Yeah, can't wait, can't wait. I mean, the boys have been splendid since uh, I walked through the door um, last week. So we just can't wait to get going now. We're absolutely buzzing. Um, and yeah, I mean, the squad's got quality and cover literally um, all over the pitch. So yeah, we just can't wait to get going now. Talk us a little bit about your own individual game. I've seen obviously videos of you in the past. You're someone who likes to get forward, aren't you? And create opportunities for those around you. Yeah, yeah. So I've played left back, I've played uh, left midfield before, and uh, most currently left wing back. And yeah, I just like to get up and down the pitch, I like to work hard, I like to score, I like to assist and I like to defend, so yeah, that's a sort of perfect role for myself there. Yeah. Obviously the news was announced earlier today, first official game as a, as a Rovers player was against uh, an old team of yours, wasn't it, Carlos City? Yeah, 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 no, it was nice to see um, a few old faces, but it's obviously disappointing to lose, but at the same time it's um, pre-season and it's about getting a, a run out, uh, and yeah, so we're obviously disheartened about the loss. But we'll keep on working hard and yeah, um, uh, look to start with the game switch next week. Uh, 70 minutes under your belt, do you feel now your match ready now for the, for the new season? Yeah, um, I feel tons better. So I've only had two days of training and uh, two games and I had a 45 and a 70. Um, so yeah, my match fitness is growing. I had the playoffs about two months ago and I haven't played since. So yeah, it's pleasing to get a run out and yeah, I can't wait.